One of the first steps when getting started with a new U-Harvest Pro system is to download Slingshot. Slingshot is the free cloud-based platform that stores your harvest data. In order to get started with Slingshot, we need to create an account. We can do this by searching Raven Slingshot and clicking the Request Account button. Once we click this, we need to fill out the requested information. After we fill this information out, we can submit the request for a new account. Once submitted, you should receive an email confirming your account has been created. Once you receive this email, you should be prompted to create a password to complete the activation of your account. Once you've done this, you should be able to log into your account by providing your created username and password. Once you log into your Raven Slingshot account, you will see a screen that looks like this. Note the four main tabs at the top of the screen. We need to go to the Share tab and select API and Access Control. Once here, we need to click the Create button and give our key a name and description. Once we have done this, we can click the Create button. Note the long string of numbers and letters under the field titled Access Key. This is important to note as we will eventually need to copy this into our uHarvest Pro app. Creating an access key is important as this helps your uHarvest Pro app send your data to the correct account location. Once we have set up our Slingshot account and created an access key, we need to download the uHarvest Pro app. The app is what enables us to transfer data from the cart to Slingshot. In order to download the app, we need to go to the App Store and search uHarvest Pro. Once we have found the app, we can go ahead and download it to our phone or our tablet with a cellular connection. When opening the app, we should make sure we enable Bluetooth connection. This is important as we use Bluetooth to transfer the data from the cart to our app. The next step is linking our app with our Slingshot account. To do this, we need to navigate to the Database Manager page and select the gear icon. We can then select connections and click slingshot API key. We now need to enter the long string of numbers and letters that was generated when we created our API key on slingshot. It is critical that these match with each other. If we have successfully entered this, a green icon below should show that we are successfully connected with slingshot. Another feature of the uHarvest Pro app is the ability to connect to the John Deere Operations Center. With the app, we have the ability to pull in the grower, farm, and field information from the Operations Center to remove the need of entering each one of these manually within uHarvest Pro. To do this, we again need to navigate to the Database Manager page within the app, select the gear icon, and click the Connections button. On the Connections page, we can click the drop-down box for Partner Database and select John Deere. Once we click Connect to Partner, we will be redirected to the John Deere Operations Center and will be asked to confirm permissions. Once we have done this, we should be redirected back to our app and a successful import should take place. Again, a green icon appears when a successful connection has taken place. We can now click the Sync GFF Partner button and the important information from the Ops Center will appear in the Database Manager. We are now in position to push this information to the Harvest Pro system on our cart. It is important to note that we should avoid numbers or special characters in our GFF information as this may impede the ability to import successfully. In order to deliver this information to our system on our cart, we need to go to the Connect to Device page. If our uHarvest Pro system is hooked to a tractor and has power to it, the serial number of the grain cart module should appear in a blue box. If we select this box, we should be linked via Bluetooth between the module and our app. Once connected, we can select the button that is titled Send Grower Farm Field Database. This will send over any of our filled out grower farm field information that has been created in the app or pulled in from the John Deere Operations Center. A notice on the virtual terminal screen in the tractor should notify the user that a transfer is taking place at the same time that the app does.
The process for transferring load information from the U-Harvest system on our cart to Slingshot is a very similar process. Again, we need to go to our Connect to Device page where we should be able to select our system serial number. Once connected, we should be directed to a page where we can select by date range or select by jobs. Both options send load data to Slingshot, but each option gives the user flexibility in selecting their data. In this case, we will select the last two jobs. We will now select blue arrow, which should move the jobs from the Harvest Pro system to our app. Once in the app, we want to check the box that says all, and then click the blue cloud in the top right corner. Once we are on the Upload to Slingshot page, we need to click the blue cloud with the arrow at the bottom of the page. After the loads transfer, they should disappear from our screen and should display in Slingshot.